Hey guys, it's Dipper Pines. <laughs> What's up, bro zones? Welcome to the Ozone. What has my life come to? That's right, today I am dressed up as Dipper Pines. Uh, but this hat is like I I don't do I I don't do caps <laughs> because my hair is just so long and it does whatever it wants to do that like it doesn't it feels it doesn't feel like it fits like whatever I do with it so it's gonna look stupid um, I guess it looks alright with just no hair or like backwards oh that's cool that is a look but um but yeah I am here today to watch the next three episodes of Gravity Falls. And I know, I know that you guys have been waiting for this. So I am really, really excited to get into this because I have heard that these are three really big episodes. I said this in my analysis video, which I uploaded probably the day before this video. Uh, but essentially what I'm doing is I'm not doing two episodes like I said I would every episode. I, I'm now doing three episodes to get up to episode 11 because between 11 and 12 in real life there was a gap and it was granted a long long gap like four months I think it was or something that I've heard and so I kind of want to do the same with this obviously not four month gap but like I, I think that after 11 it will be a really really good chance and really good place for me to just pause and do some theorizing. That's what I've been told. I ha I'm having guidance by uh, Inky and Psychic. Uh, so thank you guys. They are uh, my moderators as well, who have been deleting some of your spoilery comments. So today, whether you like it or not, we're gonna be reacting to episode nine, 10 and 11. And I think we should just get into it. I feel a lot of pressure going into these reactions now because I feel like I feel like these are going to be some big episodes and I'm going to be screaming and it's going to turn to like midnight and I'm going to be screaming in my room like, oh my god, it is old man McGucket. He is the author. Ah! And I'm going to get told off. But oh well. Before we get into these reactions, I need to remind you that if you would like to see the full uncut versions of these these reactions then you can become a member today for only one dollar a month it is a bargain and you also get some of the reactions early anyway uh, oh and also subscribe of course just subscribe on youtube uh, <laughs> uh so you can see when my next reaction comes out of course yay okay let's go to episode numero nine i forgot what nine is in spanish let's go Concert? Concert? I've, uh, I've never actually been to one of those before. That's because you've never had an awesome crew to roll with before. Come on, Thompson! Lick that sponge! Lick that sponge! Yeah, really awesome crew here, guys. Really awesome. You're in. Is it Robbie? It's Robbie. He's a zombie! That is definitely Robbie's groan. Thompson, go look. <laughs> nice use of Thompson. Gaze upon death. 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 It's Robbie. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is the intro here? Okay. Ugh, it's even creepier than I expected. I told you. I told you. Hey, what's up? Just uh, hanging out in this grave, you know, regular, regular day for me. <laughs> the cemetery used to be fun. Now it's just depressing. Uh, what? The cemetery used to be fun? <sighs> I think Mabel actually does feel bad for him. Putting a rainbow wig on a big white gorilla. <laughs> Are so open -toed. What? <laughs> this episode. <laughs> Putting a wig on a white gorilla. <laughs> oh, well, he doesn't like to talk about us. He always says we're too cheerful for funeral directors. <laughs> I still feel like he's a zombie, you know? He lives in a cemetery. What? Listen, kid. Nobody in the Pines family is welcome here. In case you forgot, 
Your stupid brother is the one who ruined my life! And maybe the one who's gonna fix it. Aww. If I say yes, will you leave my room? I guarantee it! Oh. <laughs> okay, what's she gonna do? Who wants to go out with Robbie? <laughs> then too old. Brenda, too young, multi bear. I'm putting you in the maybe pile. The multi bear. Tambry, you, me, Dave. Oh, like that sweet, okay. Sweet bod, your secret admirer. This isn't going to work. Watch and learn. Ugh, Robbie. You're my secret admirer? Tambry? Ugh, this is just what I get for trusting a toddler. That obviously wasn't gonna work, Mabel, I'm sorry. Who the f- ready to fall in love? Oh, it's the- That's what they call me! It's the love god. Love god! Sign my face! Only if you sign mine, baby. Let's get weird! Um, um, <laughs> mind if I add a little something to these fries? I don't see why not. Bro is spiking the fries. You wouldn't want to maybe get out of here and, I don't know, go kiss in public? Status update. You know what? Forget it. Maybe I should stare at something other than my phone for a while. Oh. <laughs> That is some real character development. All right, who's ready for the best? Hey, yo, Wendy. Robbie and Tambry? This can't be happening. How's that? He knew I liked her. How could he do this? Whoa, hold it. You like Tambry? <laughs> <laughs> gonna be late for the concert. Uh, newsflash, kid. I'm not going to the concert. Oh, no, Mabel. <laughs> oh. This group is all I have. Made? So now you got to get the love god to undo it, I assume. Oh, anti-love to reverse the effects of love potion. Oh no, now they're going to really hate each other. It's going to start a fight. Come back here. Different catch. This is such a weird episode. Get those kids. Oh, we must dash you to move. <laughs> We must ask you to move. Well, shave it for later. Just oh my gosh, she's so smart. Everything's fixed. Sorry, kids, but you've left me no choice. Visions of heartbreak past. We're back, Mabel. We like you now. Yes, definitely, absolutely. Uh, oh my God! You really think we'd fall for that? <laughs> can all marry me. Oh, guy from the $10 bill. I forgot I had a crush on you. Guy from the $10 bill. <laughs> oh no, a letter rip. What the H? <laughs> okay. I eat kids. <laughs> Oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> I've been so miserable since Wendy broke up with me that I thought my life was over. But you were right. I just needed to move on. Aww. Weird, huh? Robbie, people are commenting on our pictures. Dipper, maybe we shouldn't do this. I mean, every time we've played with people's fates, it's only made things worse. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Thompson, 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 Thompson. 
Well, at least they can all bond over the bullying of their own friend. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh my god, Zeus is getting married next. That was so funny. I love that. All right. Let's have a look at the codes. That was a really strange episode, but you know, you've got you to gotta have some strange episodes intertwined with the lore-heavy episodes, but uh, uh, that, that was funny either way. I liked it. Um, here, I think we have two that match, possibly. I think. Yeah! Look at this! Well, uh, it sort of matches. I feel like maybe there should be something in between. Right? Like, it doesn't quite... What would that make? I'm not sure, but it, it seems like even the like stains here kind of match a little bit. But oh well, uh, I, I guess we'll find out as time goes on. I just don't see how this would connect to either of that, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I don't know. But um, we're getting there, we're getting there. All right, let's write down this number code. So it is officially type time. Okay, this one is also a really long one, but we have it. We're going to put it in our decoder and hopefully it's long enough. I think it is. At the play or at the fair, I always see them standing there, dressed in black, they're on my lawn, but when I turn my head, they're gone. Let me redo, let me replay that, uh, <laughs> rewind. At the play or at the fair, I always see them standing there, dressed in black. They're on my lawn, but when I turn my head, they're gone. At the play or at the fair, we see... Okay, there's a few possibilities. So, and um, you're going to laugh at this because it's going to be so incredibly wrong. Um, my first option was these two, but now I don't think it's these two um when when they said dressed in black i was like what does what does tambri actually wear but it's not really black um at the player at the fair i always see them standing there dressed in black okay okay so my my other option because they said dressed in black is like men in black um aka like the agents um, the government agents that we keep seeing in the episodes, so, like maybe it's referring to that, but I don't see why they would talk about that right now. Like it's, I don't know, but like my, my, my thought is like, when I turn my head, they're gone as in like, you don't, you, you never really see them, but that they are always in the background. And then my third option, <laughs> strangely is gnomes is the gnomes because they're on my lawn. But when I turn my head, they're gone. But then that doesn't match with them being dressed in black. I am really confused. Um, dressed in black, they're on my lawn. I don't get that one, unfortunately. Um, you guys can tell me in the comments what that means. And then here is the hard part is finding the key. So I'm going to have a look for like 20 minutes and see if I can find anything. And I'll get back to you. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't usually um, I don't usually uh, go through this sort of stuff in the reaction videos themselves. But I have to point this out. I'm looking at the the names of the musicians here. And most of them don't make sense to me, um, but I'm sure they're all, um, I'm sure they're all references. But I do see Lawrence and the Bicycles, which I'm assuming is uh, Florence and the Machine, a parody of Florence and the Machine. 
Uh, and then here we have Dracula Weekday, which I think is a play on Vampire Weekend. Uh, boys to Infants. 280 is probably like 50 cent. Oh my god, that's so funny. I feel like the key could be anywhere in Robbie's room, but I just... I don't think I'm going to be able to find it if it is. Uh, let me make sure my brightness is turned all the way up. I don't think it's here. Um, I cry in the rain so my tears can't be seen. Oh, oh he's so um, oddly romantic, right? Okay, I don't think it's that. Oh, but it could, it, it could literally be in any of these scenes. Oh, my God. Wait, guys. Wait. I, I, again, I'm really sorry to point this out. Not in my analysis video. But the government agents are here, I think. Is it going to stop panning? And we'll, Yeah, look. They're right there. So we're able to find that. And boys crazier here as well. Man, that's crazy. Um, no pun intended. Sorry. Um, I am trying to find the key desperately, but... Nothing is coming up. All right, I could not find the key. Uh, and I am not going to be stood here. Although, is that an E in the rows? Is it going to be like one on each frame? No, I don't think so. Um, because, like, I, I don't know. I, I've, I've now seen the key for episode six. Which was ridiculous. It was like on the banisters. Um, and it was like one letter per wood piece that was sticking out. Um, so I don't know how creative they're going to get with these. Because also in Society of the Blind Eye, there it was on a uh, tarot, not pterodactyl, a triceratops. Um, and it was like part of the bone structure. So it's like, I feel like they've gone from just putting like text on things to actually making it part of the environment and stuff like that. So it's going to be, a, it's going to be blending in a lot more and I, I am not going to be able to find it. I am so sorry. We will for sure have another go though in my next analysis video, my theory video that's going to come up after this episode. I still don't know what to do with my hair, man. It's just, it's just everywhere. <laughs> So I've just been told by Psychic and Inky that that episode was mid. Uh, essentially, I, I, I think it was all right. I think it was all right. I think it's just thrown in a season that is so story heavy uh, and, and is more about the continuity and all of the lore and stuff. Uh, of course, it's going to seem mid and see, seem like a lower point of the series, but I really enjoyed it still. Um... But apparently now, now is where we're getting into some territory where some big stuff is going to be revealed and stuff like that. So I am ready to get into this episode. This is episode number 10. Northwest Manor. Pacifica. What did I tell you about that dress? The theme is sea foam green, not lake foam green. Go change. But I, I kind of like it. Mind your mother, Pacifica. But... Yes, father. What? Oh, I will say she actually does look quite nice in that dress. <laughs> it does suit her blonde. What? Surely there's someone who could handle this sort of nonsense. And I think I know just the person. Hey, yo. Okay. What? <laughs> I love how I said what when it actually appeared on the screen. <laughs> Wait. Was that a quicker version of the intro? Excuse me? In case you've already forgotten, Pacifica Northwest is the worst. And that's not just jealousy talking. I'd say that to her face. I need your help. <laughs> Cider fountain. Mabel, what are you wearing? Bam. Yes, very good, miss. <laughs> This looks like the kind of room that would be haunted, all right. 
I mean, yeah. Ghosts fall on a 10 category scale. Floating plates sound like a category one. <laughs> oh, I love this. This is so cool. The painting's gonna move, isn't it? Come on, stupid thing. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I love that. That's great. Dipper, what is this? It's a category 10. It's a category 10. <laughs> it can't get worse than this. Oh, that's sick. I smell a northwest. <laughs> oh, my God. The animation is so impressive. You know, I've heard people shipping these two. And I didn't see it before, but I kind of see it now. My parents will kill me. Why are you so afraid of your parents? You wouldn't understand. <laughs> well, that ghost was dumb. There were clearly footprints going to the painting. Oh my God. Ah! Okay. The ghost isn't dumb. Never mind. That was kind of cute, to be fair. Pretend that never happened. <laughs> Call me crazy, but maybe she's not that bad after all. I think it is her parents' influence on her. I don't think she's brought up very well. One hundred and fifty years ago this day, the Northwest asked us lumber. We saw that in Blending, I think. Northwest, you got some explaining to do. Yes, Dipper. Look at who you're talking to, boy. I'm hosting a party for the most powerful people in the world. Literally nobody cares. I'm sorry, they made me. I should have told you, but... Enjoy the party. It's the last time you and your kind will ever come. He's treating her like a pet. Hi, I'm Mabel. So, Australia, huh? Do you guys eat kangaroo meat over there, or...? Australia. <laughs> You've got something on your shirt. He's going to like it. He's going to like it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think we can all say this party was a rousing success. I guess you could say it was a slam dunk, Preston. Yes. <laughs> that guy. Ah, oh, the Grim Reaper. I've been wondering when you would arrive. Ah! <laughs> He's turning people into wood. <laughs> okay. Right about me. I am just another link in the world's worst chain. Pacifica, I I'm sorry about what I said earlier. I remember when I did a poll in my premiere and I was like, do we hate Pacifica? And most people said no. And this is why I see now. Jingly, jingly. Is this bell broken? Our family name is broken and I'm going to fix it. <gasps> Good job, Pacifica. Good job. Get it! <laughs> Good lord, the riprap! They're everywhere! <laughs> Old man McGucket just dancing on a table. Whoa, what's up, McGucket? Hey! Yeah. <laughs> Dipper, I've been looking for you. I fixed the laptop. I've been doing calculations and I think something terrible is coming. The apocalypse! The end times! Oh no! How about we talk about this stuff tomorrow? It's a party. Let's have some fun for once, huh? What? Oh, this is bad. <gasps> Quick, in here. <laughs> a moment alone at last. 
Not even gonna ask. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so let's re re rewind a little bit. I was gonna say Pacifica is not as bad as I thought, okay? Uh, and as I was saying throughout the episode, it was just kind of our perception of her. I uh, Here's what I feel, right? I feel episode... What was episode seven again? Uh, it was... Uh, oh, Society of the Blind Eye. Society of the Blind Eye, we got more black backstory for Old Man McGucket. Blendin's Game, we got more backstory for Seuss. Uh, the Love God, we got more backstory for Robbie. The Northwest uh mystery uh i think it's it's called northwest mansion mystery apparently uh this one was more about pacifica uh and then i don't know what the next one's gonna be about obviously but um it seems like we're getting a lot of character development in each episode and i'm loving it i'm absolutely loving it um and i think pacifica's cool i i actually like pacifica now um which is good it, it means that the show has done a really good job of flipping her um, because obviously in season one, she comes across as a horrible person, but obviously it ain't, it ain't really her fault. Um, so there we go. Um, but yeah, I was going to say that. And then old man McGuckin came out of nowhere and he was like, oh, 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 oh. Diva, I need to tell you something. I fixed up the laptop. Um, I don't know why he turned French there, but there you go. Um, so something, so they need to get into the laptop imminently he said something about the apocalypse which i remember grunkle stan said about i think in like episode 17 or something last season um but i thought that was referring to the zombies in episode one of season two um so apparently maybe there is an actual apocalypse coming and it's more to do with bill cypher um apocalypse i don't know I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's Bill Cipher's transformation into human or like real form or something. I don't know. Uh, that's just my theory. But there we go. That's that was an interesting episode, and we saw the agents again. So they're gonna come back. Um. Wow. Uh, okay. Let's see what the codes say. I guess the other thing that I was saying. And oh, wait. That's Grunkle Stan's hat. Isn't it? That's the symbol on Grunkle Stan's hat. So are we making a picture of Grunkle Stan? That doesn't make sense. I don't know. Uh, oh! It is three wide. It's three wide. Because um, this one doesn't have anything on the left and right. So we get, we've got a centerpiece now. Okay, cool. So maybe there's a lot more to this than I thought, um, but we'll see. Man, I really need to make a Photoshop file and do this in Photoshop, but I cannot be bothered. Okay, so we can try and piece something together, but I don't know. Like what I mean is, could it actually slot in up here? So could this, oh my gosh, maybe we should open this in Photoshop. Um, maybe this goes here. And that goes there. And then it's going to make an image of Grunkle Stan somehow. And then this would be the bottom right. That could actually make sense. Wait, I'm actually, I might actually be onto something. But then wh where does this triangle go? Or maybe the triangle is part of it somehow. So this would go down here. And then this, well, that would have to still go on the left. But then that doesn't fit anywhere. Hmm. I feel like we're getting somewhere with it, but I feel like, I don't know, it, it's really difficult to, to know. Anyway, episode 10, it is type time. Oh, I just realized something. I've typed out the same thing twice. So whatever it says on this side, it also says on this side. And it's one really long word, but also it's copied down here. Right? It's, this is the same exact thing, but it's on Grunkle Stan's hat and it's in a different color. So I thought maybe it would be like a different code altogether, but it seems to be the exact same code. 
How interesting. So now I'm intrigued. What does this say? Because it says it three times over. Is it going to be like Stan is not what he seems or something like that again? That's my question. Let's have a look. Stan is not what... <laughs> <laughs> what? I swear to God. I swear. Hands in the air. I did not look that up. <laughs> I had no idea. That was a that was a shot in the dark. What the hell? Okay, so we have Stan is not what he seems three times over. It, it it's it's weird how they're still going ahead with Stan is not what he seems because I thought that Stan um, not being what he seems was to do with like the underground portal and stuff he has, but they seem to be going further with it, meaning Stan might have more to him than meets the eye. Huh. That's an interesting one. That's a really, really intriguing one. And the fact that we've got Stan's hat with it, it kind of solidifies that. That's, wow, okay. Okay, well then, let's continue and see if we can find the key. Actually, something really intriguing that I want to know is, because I, I think this is a shorter intro, so let me just listen to it again. Yeah. Yeah, it's 100% shorter. It just skips out a lot of it. It skips out a lot of it. And I think that backwards message is something else. Let me listen to it. All right, don't worry about the, the, the Premiere Pro file I'm in. This is just, um, this is from a FNAF video that I've made recently. Uh, so let me just turn down the volume on that because that's too loud. Um, and let's, t let's see this intro, right? I think there is something backwards in the intro and it is right here. Uh, or I know there's something backwards in the intro. I just want to hear what it says because it might be something different to what we've already had in season two. So reminder, the backwards message that we've had in each episode so far says, um, well, we thought it says gay visionaire, which it surprisingly, it doesn't say gay visionaire. It says key visionaire. Um, so does it still say that? That's the big question. Let's have a look. Uh, I, I find it really strange how this episode in particular had a shorter intro. Like, why is that? That's really strange. So let's see. Speed of duration, reverse the speed, and let's listen to this and see if it says gay visionaire. It does. What's up, bro? Okay, I don't want to see that. <laughs> uh, I don't want to see my face um, from earlier today. Yeah, it, it unfortunately just says gay visionaire. Uh, I, I, by the way, I can't, I cannot hear key visionaire. I don't know how you guys are hearing key visionaire, but all I hear is gay visionaire. Um, but anyway, that is weird because I, I swear it sounds different, but maybe, maybe it doesn't. Um, but there you go. That is that. But the intro is, is way shorter. Um, so that's really interesting. It's really intriguing. Uh, it makes it harder to sync up the video. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't think I am able to find the key. Um, this seems to be the issue in most of these episodes. But um, it is what it is, you know. So, unfortunately, no key for this one either. Uh, don't let me know in the comments. I want to have one more look before I spoil it for myself. Um, and I'll be doing that next next time. All right. <laughs> it's time for episode 11. Apparently, this one's a big one. So, I'm going to tip my hat. Yeah. Um, no, I, I'm actually just tired of wearing the hat for now. <laughs> but it will come back, don't worry. Um, I am going to probably 
either scream or cry or some other strange action during this reaction. But I am like other than that, I, I'm ready to get in. I'm ready to get in. Um whatever happens in this episode, just know. I don't really know what I want you to know. I just I, I I'm just trying to stall. Um no, I, I'm actually quite tense right now. I like I, I feel like there's gonna be something big in this, so <sighs> Alright. I've let out a breath. Let's get into episode number eleven. There's gonna be so much to comprehend. Let's go. Is that what set off the laptop timer? No way. No. No. Yo! It's gonna be a bumpy ride, but it'll all be worth it. And that's what the government as well, they saw. Oh, this is crazy. 18 hours. Everything changes. Today. Oh, <laughs> is it going to be the short intro again? It is. Never mind, it's different. I heard give me your money. <laughs> Might be different. Okay. I'm a bit on edge with Grunkle Stan right now. He's not what he seems. <laughs> cool. Do you have a permit for those? Uh, uh, do you have a permit for being totally lame? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't argue with that. Carry on. <laughs> but seriously, though, we should probably clean this mess up. The policemen are so freaking funny. <laughs> ah, this is what Saturdays are for. Doing dumb things forever. Dumb things forever! He's just trying to enjoy his, his last 18 hours, I think. Still got plenty of summer left. They have their fair share of arguments, for sure. <laughs> yeah, plenty of summer left. Oh, they don't. Something I should tell you. It's, um... Well, it's complicated. I... I'm gonna go refresh my soda. Enjoy it while you can, Stan. They'll find out sooner or later. <gasps> Target secure! Take the house! Oh no, they know. They know the portal is there. Clear. Clear. We knew this was going to happen at some point, to be honest. Cured a pig. <laughs> Kids, you gotta believe me. For once, I'm actually innocent. Kids! It sucks because he was just about to tell them as well. Almost. Work. Ground team, move, move, move! Break down the door! Or maybe not. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Wow. You know that vending machine in the gift shop? I need you to guard it with your life. No matter what happens, no matter who talks to you, don't let them touch that machine. Whoa. Okay. I'm so for this. This is great. Oh, you poor kids. Do you really think your uncle's innocent? I've seen it all before. False names, double lives. One minute they're playing with water balloons. The next they're building doomsday devices. Your uncle scammed the whole world. You gonna let him scam you too? You... You don't know what you're talking about. You're gonna regret this! Huh. The thing is, Dippin has... That sense in him because obviously he stands lied to him before. And then we'll backflip through the front door. Mabel, aren't you forgetting the simpler solution? Oh right. 
Or was it a rock or is it a face? I think it's a metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> grappling hook! No, no. Curse you, grappling hook. How did nobody see that, by the way? They need to run into Stan and then uh, Seuss, and then Seuss needs to tell them vending machine. Oh no, Stan, you didn't. Don't panic. That could be anyone in that suit. God, hot Belgian waffles! Wait, I'm alone. I can swear for real. Son of a. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Disney. Andrew Eight Ball Alcatraz. Oh. These are fake IDs, Mabel. You wouldn't need these unless you were trying to hide your real identity. But why right. would Stan do that? Stan Pine's dead. What? Stan Pine's dead? Foul play suspected in Pine's death. Fiery car crash. Brakes cut. Unnamed grifter at large. Why would they call him unnamed? Unless Stan... Isn't... Stan? Oh my god. Okay. So Stan really isn't what he seems. They got 15 minutes. B, C3, never seen Ooh. a like this. Wait, I have... Dipper, it's the vending machine! Oh! <gasps> Mabel, you're a genius. Go. Oh yeah. So Go. You. Huh? <laughs> oh yes, Dan. Hey. Or whoever you are. Bro. What? Remember the plan. Oh no. Earn Stan's trust. Legally got adopted by Stan. He's gonna defend against Mabel and Dipper. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is the Gravity Falls content I've been wanting. It's still Stan, and he loves us, and we love him, right? Can't be. It's impossible. The other two journals? All this time. Oh yeah, they don't know. I can't believe it! Was anything he said to us real? Why would he have those journals? The device, if fully operational, could tear our universe apart! Oh. If the clock ever reaches zero, our universe is doomed. Oh. <laughs> But Stan's gonna come in and he's gonna stop them. I have to shut it down! I'm so on the edge of my seat. Wait. I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> Turn these together! Was that a FNAF noise? I swear that was from like sister location. Oh my god. Please don't press that shutdown button. You gotta trust me. And I should trust you. Why? This is insane. This is the craziest episode. I don't know who I'm rooting for, Dipper or Stan. I think I'm rooting for Stan. He's worked 30 years for this. I mean, nice one, Seuss, I guess. Shut it down! No, you can't! You gotta trust me! Uncle Stan, I don't even know if you're my grunkle. <laughs> I want to believe you, but... Then listen to me. Remember this morning when I said I wanted to tell you guys something? Damn. I've never seen Maple so upset. The bad things about me, and some of them are true. 
But trust me, everything I've worked for, everything I care about, it's all for this family. Mabel, what if he's lying? This thing could destroy the universe. Listen to your head. Look into my eyes, Mabel. You really think I'm a bad guy? No. Uncle Stan? Six. Five. I trust you. Mabel, are you crazy? That's insane. Okay, now what? That was crazy. It's crazy that Mabel had all that power. Who? The author. It's the author. The author. Yeah, the author. What? Who is that? The author of the journals. What? 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 <laughs> That's the end? That's the end? I don't know how to feel. I feel defeated. I don't know why I feel defeated. I don't know why that's the word that came to head, but I feel defeated. Okay, first of all, that episode was wild from beginning to, to end. Oh my God. Um, I did let out a little tear when Mabel had all that power. Like, I don't know, I just, I felt it like Mabel's such like a, a young, innocent, girl and the fact that she holds all of that weight on her shoulders and she has to choose between her grunkle stan who is saying to trust him but we've just seen that he's not as he seems and her her, her own brother who is saying to the oh it's just it's so good it's so good oh so <laughs> we were right. I think we were right. Stan has a secret brother. <sighs> Stan has a secret brother. So this is why people wanted me to stop to theorize. Stan has a secret brother. So what does that mean? Um, it means, wait, okay, now I'm confused because, uh, and I'll show you on the screen, hang on. We go all the way back to this intro frame, which when I find the intro, I will be able to show you. Uh, here it is, okay. So we go back to this Bill Cipher frame, which is coming up now, here. We go all the way back here and we, we looked at this so many times, not recently, but especially in the early days of this reaction series, we've seen this so many times. And we know that each of these corresponds to a character, for sure. What we have is we have Seuss by the question mark, Wendy with the ice, Grunkle Stan with the hat icon, Dipper with the hat icon, Gideon, with the pentagram that's also reminiscent of Bill. I'm gonna skip that one. And then we have Llama, still don't know what that is actually. I like, that. that's the most confusing one for me right now. Then we have Mabel, the shooting star, Robbie, Hart, and then a pair of glasses. Here's what I thought was gonna happen. I thought the author was gonna be revealed to be Old Man McGucket, 
And so that is representation, represent, that's a representation of Old Man McGucket. And I thought this, I thought the glasses were Stan's brother or something. I, 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 I remember we talked a little bit about like Stan maybe having a clone or something. Wait, 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 wait. I think I've just pieced something together that is so big. Hang on. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say that Old Man McGucket's glasses could have been that, but no, it's not. That would have been cool. It's just, it, it feels like Old Man McGucket is a pretty big character to just not include on this wheel or whatever, but yeah. Um, mad. Okay, so. So Stan's brother is here. Like, my, I guess my question is, like, where has he come from? Like, he has this big gun behind him. He has six fingers, which, like, in and of itself <laughs> is, is, like, weird. Um, or it's not, it's not weird. It's just, like, you wouldn't expect it. Feather. Yeah, so that feather is, like, a quill for the journal. Uh, and then... Yeah, like, those are definitely the glasses. Oh, look at his design. His design is so sick, man. His design is so cool. Oh, my God. I don't know what to say. This show is just wonderful. It's so good. It subverts all expectations, and it's just so... It's, it goes so deep. Oh, my God. Okay. So, um, let's do the codes and then let's listen to the backwards message in the intro again. Um, yeah, this is interesting as well that this is, um, I assume this is Stan and this is Stan's brother. We don't know his name yet, but I'm assuming we're going to learn next episode. Uh, it, it, it is crazy, by the way, to think that this, this was the last episode for like half a year, right? <laughs> People had to wait in pain, and and <laughs> that that's just crazy to me. That's crazy that they took a break here. Obviously, it's a, like a big cliffhanger, so yeah, for sure. Uh, and I'm sorry that we're taking a break here too. I know that from a viewer experience, it's probably better if I do it all in one go. But from my personal experience, it's going to be way better if we take a break here because it's going to be like your experience, and that's what I'm here for. I'm here for the nostalgic value, not for the... I guess most satisfying value. Okay, so let's let's see what we have here. Um, this is a really really cool one. Look at this galaxy in the middle uh, of the portal. Um, so maybe we're making a big portal. Although this is the bottom frame. This is the one at the bottom. Okay. Well, let's see. I think what's going to happen in the next few episodes is we're going to start to get some frames that don't have any borders. And those are going to fit in the middle, obviously. And we're going to start to get pictures with those. Uh, because at the moment, obviously, we've had all of the ones on the outside. So we're actually making like the outside of a puzzle. But we don't have the inside yet. And that is what is going to contain the pictures that we've been waiting for. Um, so it's going to look something like this this is not accurate obviously but uh we're gonna have this down here because that's a corner piece this here and then this like well th this barrow would go below and then this would be there so it will look something oh yeah it's it's definitely making pictures it's making something. I just don't know how some of these fit together. Oh, wait. I think this goes here. And that goes there because you can see that there's like a line there. So then that would go there. That I think this top one. I think the top row is correct. And I think the bottom row is correct. 
then the middle part is is a bit confusing. But I think there's going to be a triangle behind a figure of Stan. That looks like hair. That looks like the, the flicker of hair or something. Let's see the design of this guy again. Ah, oh, I don't know. It. I feel like it could be... You know, like the tarot cards? Um, tarot, I'll show you a tarot card. Um, uh, no, this is not what I was thinking of, unfortunately. Um, what am I thinking of? I mean, I guess just like any card, right? I feel like it's going to be something like this. Where we have Stan on the top, and then we have Stan's brother on the bottom. I feel like that's what it's making. Because we have Stan's hat... And then, I'm really confused where this piece goes. I'm, I'm going to be honest. And, and in relation to this piece as well, that doesn't make any sense to me. But here, oh, 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 these two are opposites. So it could, this could be the top of the hair and then it goes down. Even, oh, it still doesn't make sense. Oh, I don't know. We're, we're, we're going to solve it as we get more pieces, of course. I, th I think we could even solve it next next reaction when we get more. But um, I feel like we were getting somewhere with that, right? And I, and I think I'm, I might be right where it's like um, two sides to Stan or something. Um, so that's mental. That's crazy. Um, what if the... What if the... I mean, we're going to do theorizing more in the next analysis video, the next video that's coming in the series. But what if Stan's brother is actually called Stan and he just took his name? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just coming up with any theory I can at this point. All right, let's, uh, let's do type time for the final time today. Fun fact, uh, type time happens at 20 times speed. So you just saw me go 20 times as fast as I did in real life. Uh, so it was probably like two seconds long because <laughs> I think that took like 40 seconds. Um, okay, so let's go and decode this. Paces values, 30 years and now he's back. The mystery in the mystery shack. <laughs> that's my favorite one that's my favorite one um so yeah that that is the mystery of the mystery shack i guess um it's his brother wow um i did also have the thought during that episode that i didn't announce because um i didn't want to disturb the flow of the episode but i think um well we had the question about what the bunker was for um, from episode two of season two, I have a feeling it could be to do with the apocalypse that um, that old man McGucker was talking about. Here's the thing, right? We're getting a lot of themes. So, Grunkle Stan said when the portal, or not Grunkle Stan, but the book said that the, when the portal is open, it could destroy the world. And he, and Grunkle Stan also talked about an apocalypse coming. Old Man McGucket said about an apocalypse coming. What if, yes, his brother is here through this portal now. And fantastic. Uh, maybe Stan's whole reason for this whole thing was to reunite with his brother after 30 years. Fine. But what if it's also let in like a whole other dimension c come with the... Um, coming with the wormhole theory that we've been having for a while as well. What if it's like another dimension or like a, another parallel universe or something, and now it's not only bringing forward his brother, it's also bringing the entire apocalypse or some sort of apocalypse. I wouldn't doubt that. Um, my big question here is like, what does Bill Cipher have to do with this? Because I... I don't really know how he fits in at the moment. It's it's strange. It's strange. I don't know how, how Bill Cyphers fits in, but um but I guess he has to at some point. Um but yeah. Alright. It's key 
It's time to try to find the key. Uh, actually, let's start by not wasting our time. <laughs> let's start by uh, listening to the backwards message at the beginning of this episode. Uh, just in case maybe this isn't going to be a visionaire this time. I, I, I think this would be a really good inflection point for that. Um, so let's see. All right. Here we go again. Mamma mia. Here we go again. Uh, reverse speed. Let's listen to what it has to say. I heard not what he seems. I think he, it's just not what he seems. By the way, that that's the um, that's the title of the episode. Um, I found out. Not what he seems. Um, yeah, so it's, it literally just says not what he seems. Does that mean we're not using a visionaire anymore? Let's have a look at the code. If there is one. Okay, there is. Lars. Okay. So the way we're going to know if this is a visionaire is by testing it, at least, um, with the at bash and the other one, the Caesar. And if it does work, then obviously we, we made it work. But if it doesn't, then it's going to be a visionaire, I think. Because uh, they haven't told us a new cipher. Or maybe they have, and I'll, I'll need to look into it. But uh, let's type this in. It's not going to take long, so we're not going to have a type time, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, F T Y X W E U P J R G H G Z T. Nope, we got nothing. So it's still a visionaire, even though at the beginning of the episode they don't say visionaire. Let's look for the key and then I'll end the episode here. Oh, I have a theory on what the key is. Uh, I think it, it could be Mabel. Because Mabel was wearing a key on her jumper. Uh, and I did see that and I, I pointed it out in my brain and saved it for later. Um, but I, I it could be. Like, it, it's a bit of a meh clue if, uh, if it is, but no, it's not. Okay. That would have been, a, that would have been okay, actually. I, I, I would have liked that. It, it would have been less work, but fine. Uh, <laughs> I love how I'm never going to give you up, never going to let you down, is there? Um, so yeah, I don't know. I still don't know what that is. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. Hmm. Got some more things to decode here. Unfortunately. Oh, I think we've actually... Oh, no, we we can't solve that. We we don't know the, the cipher or whatever. Um, it's got to be here. It has to be on the board. Right? It has to be. By the way, this episode did not feel 20 minutes long. It felt two minutes long. Which is a really good... Um, a really good sign that it's a good episode, of course. Uh, it, it has to be on that board. I think it might be. Although knowing me, it's it's not. See, the thing is as well, there's a key there. Like, maybe it circles a word or something. Key. He has the key. Where does the key go? It points to deed. Is it deed? <laughs> um, I mean, the best part of... Um, the best part of having a homemade cipher is I can literally type deed in here. And we know, okay, so it's not deed. <laughs> Um, Stan. It is not Stan. Although, although actually, the thing about the visionaire is you, you could test keys and you can see if it kind of works. Right here, ST turns into a TH. That sort of works. Um, so maybe it's like st stranded. <laughs> Fa. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We could be getting somewhere with this. Str, str, strike. Sa, no. St, str, strafe. No, it's definitely not Straz. Okay, wait. Well, Thaz, sorry. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just testing weird things out. Okay, so 
yeah, we I I don't know if we're gonna find the key then because those were the two places I thought it could be. Uh, I'm not gonna look too deep today, although I just I thought I just saw something. Maybe not. Oh, I <laughs> I thought that was it. Uh, blind eye right here. Um, yeah, I I don't think we're gonna find it. You know what? I'm I'm actually gonna give up right now. Um, not give up, but next time. We're gonna try and find the keys for the those three episodes. And we're gonna do a lot of theorizing and having a look through the episodes as closely as possible before continuing on to episode 12, which I've heard is even more insane. So stay tuned for that. Guys, I really, really hope that you have enjoyed this reaction. It has been a wild roller coaster. So, um, I, it still looks bad on me. <laughs>